launched. Oh, Jesus. Okay, no, we're good here. Hello, everybody. My name is Gamers101. Welcome to another mod review. Today, we're reviewing the cookie mod that adds in a bunch of cookies. It even adds in a cookie biome, as you see here, Cookie Land. And it adds in a bunch of new mobs. It adds in some new food, and it adds in a new ore with new armor and weapons. And let's hop right into it. So we're going to start off with the ore and the ingot. Now, in the biome, or even around the world, you're able to find an ingot, uh, not an ingot, an ore for a uh, cookie, called the cookie ore. And you take the ore, go ahead and smelt it, you know, like most ores. Smelt that up, and after you smelt it up, it turns into a cookie ingot. Now, with the cookie ingot, you are able to make a cookie block, cookie armor, you know, the whole cookie armor set, tools, swords, and also a new sword added in, aka the giant cookie sword, which is a good addition, uh, because it's a freaking giant cookie sword, a giant sword made out of cookie, not only one sword, but you get two in this mod, which is awesome, and then we got the armor here, so let's go ahead and put that on, we got the armor here, and we got the freaking tools, and uh, yeah, let's test out some of these tools here, well the hoe's not really much to test out, I guess. But let's let's go over here, just as far away as possible from mobs, and let's go into game mode zero. And uh, let's test out some of these tools here. As you see, they're uh, man, they're semi fast. I believe the tools are a little bit lower than iron, but the giant sword is 0.5 more damage higher than iron because iron does six damage. And uh, let's go ahead and chop down the trees here, the cookie wood trees, cookie log, turn that into cookie planks. And then we got the pickaxe here, which we gotta go to some stone over here and test it out on it. As you see, there's these uh, little cookie mobs running around here. Kill them. They drop cookies, obviously. Why wouldn't they? There's no reason for uh, cookie mobs not to be dropping it. It's a fairly fast pickaxe. I wouldn't say the fastest. But fairly fast. I would use it. I would definitely use it. Uh, so let's go back over here. And then we got the regular sword, which only does 5 attack damage. A uh, little bit. That's 1 attack damage under iron. Okay, moving on, we have this, the Ender Stick. Now, before we're going to get into the Ender Stick at the end of the mod review. But right now, we're going to move into the blocks and decorative items. Okay, now with the blocks and decorative items, we have the cookie dirt and the cookie grass, obviously. And then we got the cookie block, which is made from the cookie ingots. And we got the leaves, you know, use some shears to get those. Uh, we got the cookie log right here. And then, of course, with the cookie log, you're able to make the cookie planks. And with the cookie planks, you're obviously able to make cookie sticks, you can make ladders, fences, cookie fence gate. You can make slabs with the planks. You can make stairs with the planks. You can make a cookie wooden button, trap door, pressure plate, regular door. Uh, let's go ahead and like place down this regular door here. Oh, that's, that's how convenient. Place down a regular door. Boom. It's got a little cookie design on it there. That's that's pretty cool. I like that. We'll definitely make a house out of this because this is this is awesome, dude. Who wouldn't want a freaking cookie on their door is the real question. If you don't want a cookie on your door, something wrong with you. You're either a vegetarian or there's something like completely fucked up with your brain or I don't even... Or do, does that count being a vegetarian? I don't... Alright, uh, so we got the cookie sapling here which drops from the leaves. And this allows you to go ahead and plant from the tree. Let's pull out some bone meal here. Uh, this allows, allows you to grow cookie trees. So we can see there, boom, cookie tree. And the cookie flower, which is... Oh, my, my bad. The cookie flower, which is on the ground here. Uh, and then, obviously, the cookie grass. Uh, you can get all these with shears or the drops from the trees, too. And uh, that is it for this. You know, the cookie sticks allow you to make different cookie items and obviously the cookie tools themselves. But I believe you can make them with regular sticks. Yes, you can. Uh, and that is it for that. So let's move on over here and let's go into the new food items it adds. So, uh, there's a new. I guess like wheat resource, seed resource uh, that you can get here and it drops from the uh, breaking these things, breaking the cookie grass, it'll drop, it'll drop when you uh, break the cookie grass and then you get this called, get this stuff called rye and it's just like wheat, you plant it, grow it, when you, oh, let's probably get out of game mode first, when you break it, it will drop rye, uh, more rye seeds in rye itself. Now. With the rye, actually, hold on, might as well just harvest the rye and build the item. Let's get rid of that, though. Uh, so, we, uh, we're gonna go back into game mode one here. And we're gonna take out a workbench, 
so we can craft the rye bread, which is just like regular bread, but it's it's rye. And uh, with the rye bread, you need it just like regular bread. So, in the chest, if you uh, take the rye and go ahead and make this, the raw cookie dough, which you need a milk bottle, two rye, two eggs, and a sugar, and uh, make a milk bottle like that, very easy to make, you can make a cookie, 2.0. Not a not an original cookie. Maybe we should go back uh, And then with the cookie 2.0, you're able to make different types of cookies with their respected uh, uh, topping sprinkles. You know, uh, which you can make like this chocolate sprinkles. You make from cocoa beans, which you can find in jungles and dungeons. And you make the chocolate sprinkles. And then with chocolate sprinkles, you can make caramel sprinkles. You can make dark chocolate sprinkles. You can make all these sprinkles here and uh, make all their all the different types of cookies you know we got dark cookie we got snow cookie we got caramel cookie white cookie and they all give effects like jump boosts sprints and other effects like that and we have this one the ender cookie which is made from ender chocolate sprinkles which is made from iron ender and uh to make it you need an ender pearl ender chocolate sprinkles and cookie 2.0 do not eat it the cookie with a special effect you can craft this with a stick now if you craft this with a stick, you get this, the ender stick. Right click on mobs to use items. Special effects after 20 times used. So, 22 times used. So, we're gonna, we're gonna spawn in some mobs now. And uh, check these guys out, and then we will mess with the ender, ender stick at the end. But we got a new mob, which is like a zombie cookie dude. Now, I'm a, I'm a little bit uh, depressed by this model because it says cookie monster. And uh, it's not the Cookie Monster, to my surprise. It doesn't look like a Cookie Monster. I feel like he should be blue and look exactly like the Cookie Monster, but here he is. I believe he has 40 health, a little bit higher hit points than uh, the regular zombie. So we're going to take out the giant Cookie Sword here. We're going to get into a fight with him. Let's go. So he does uh, a respectable amount of damage here. Not a lot, though. And he also drops cookies. We're going to throw those out. Uh, next mob we have is the Cookie Cow. Just like, I guess you can say, a motion crowd. I don't know what happens if we uh, shear him. Let's actually, I suppose she is complete. Let's actually see what happens if we shear him. I'm gonna cheat mode here. Let's see what happens. Maybe, is he like a mushroom? He is indeed like a mushroom. Uh, if you shear him, he'll drop a bunch of cookies. He'll drop, drop, he'll drop the cookie flower. And I believe if you kill him uh, the way he is right now, in his, not his regular cow form, but in his uh, cookie cow form, I believe he will also drop regular cow items, yes. So I recommend shearing him. You can make a very cool farm out of it, but you always gotta be breeding. But let's actually just test that out really fast. Hold up, there's a fucking cookie cake block. Look at that. Cookie cake block. How come that wasn't in the friggin'... Okay, whatever. Uh, there's actually some extra items here. The cookie cake block is like the only extra one I saw. But uh, let's move on to the final mob, aka the cookie hopper, which is pretty much a slime of this biome here. And look at it. They come in three different sizes like the slime. The big size, the medium size, and the small size. And the small size not being able to do damage, but it just follows you around and stuff like that. So let's actually show off one of the... Uh, oh yeah, we're going to test this ender stick out real fast here. So if you right click on a mob with an ender stick, any mob... Oh, he has a... He has a tail. He has a tail. He has a tail. Look at that. It wiggles back and forth. Alright, this is what happens. Look at that. Oh my god. Launched. Oh, Jesus! Okay, no, we're good here. Uh, oh my, okay, I don't know if we're good anymore. Uh, so yeah, the, that's what the ender stick does. It launches mobs wherever you're facing. You can launch them up in the air, too. Like, straight up in the air sometimes. Look at that. And it does damage to them. Now, one more thing I want to test out. And you see our night vision effect is going away here. One more thing I want to test out before we end out this mod review. And that is, uh, this and also breeding the cows because I'm actually interested to see if these cows can breed uh, since you're able to shear them they obviously will be able to breed but I'm wondering if we have to use rye or regular wheat to do so we will see in a bit won't we but here's a work in progress block they got going on which is probably going to be like the rivers for the uh, cookie biome and it's a milk block as you see here properties of water or lava whatever the fuck you want to call it very cool. Uh, I would like to see this added in as like the rivers of the cookie land. And uh, alright, let's test out if cows 
these cookie cows can breed here. As we look in the minimap, the biomes are fairly big. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and drop down. Spawn in the cookie cow. Alright. Oh, they do breed. <gasps> and baby cookie cow. Baby cookie cow. <gasps> baby cookie cow. Look at that. Oh my god. Too epic for me. So yeah, that will end the mod review here. What I would like to see from this mod is definitely generated structures. The milk rivers, obviously. And maybe even more mobs and bosses, you know. Giant cookie boss, that'd be cool. Or even freaking cookie monster himself as a boss. That would be pretty freaking awesome. My name is Gearwind01. Uh, link to the mod in the description. I will see you guys in the next mod review or whatever you watch next on my channel. Make sure to like and subscribe for more. Bye-bye.